Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Chris McGee, Managing Partner Endeavor Private Wealth, is joining us for our weekly segment, Unvesting. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Glad to. So, Chris, you know, what seemed like a promising summer rally in stocks has reversed and new lows have been registered. We're into autumn now and it's the beginning of a new month and a new quarter. I'd like to ask you to share your thoughts on advice to investors that we often hear and read about. Stay the course. What do you think about that? Yeah, the markets have been very turbulent and there are numerous factors contributing to the volatility. Inflation, supply chain issues, a pandemic hangover, the war in Ukraine, and a host of other issues. The general advice for staying the course and not radically altering your investment plan is based upon long-term positive trajectory of equities. The operative word is long term. <laughs> and long term probably means, you know, different things to different people, you know, would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Investors in their 20s or 30s have a very long term investment time horizon ahead of them. So they have greater opportunity to recover from the periodic severe downturns that are inherent in the economy and markets. On the other hand, it's a different story for investors in their 60s or 70s who still actually have many years ahead of them, but because they're in the later stages of building and accumulating wealth, or closer to, or in the stage of decumulation or spending their wealth, their ability to stay the course is more problematic. Mm -hmm. And the definition of stay the course you know, is to keep going strongly to the end of a race or contest, or to pursue a different task or activity to its conclusion. Is that definition applicable to investing? Uh, generally speaking, yes. However, it begs two critical conditions. First, where is the finish line or destination? In financial speak, what are your investment goals and objectives? And second, what are your plans for getting there? A sound investment plan establishes a course for achieving your investment objectives. That doesn't mean, however, that investors should never consider alterating their course their investment plan as conditions or circumstances necessitate. And you know, what sort of conditions or um, circumstances are you talking about? Well, imagine you're piloting a plane and you're going from Topeka to Seattle. First, you'd file your flight plan with the intended route. But imagine once you're airborne and weather conditions along your route change drastically for the worse, you could take the chance and fly right through the storm and your aircraft and airmanship are up to it. However, weather through to Seattle, little pun intended. <laughs> There's an old saying in aviation that there are old pilots and bold pilots, but there are no old bold <laughs> pilots. Good pilots aren't reluctant to change or deviate from their flight plan when conditions warrant. I think good investors shouldn't be reluctant to consider slight deviations from their investment plan warrants by conditions personal to them. Investors should keep their sights on getting their investment destination, whether it's Seattle or elsewhere. And sometimes course adjustments will be necessary, even though it may slightly delay their arrival. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on each investor having a plan and sticking to it, yet remaining open to uh, making course corrections given their unique circumstances. That's well said, Dane. <laughs> so general investment advice, such as stay the course, is probably good advice for investors in general. However, I believe that each investor is unique and should have a well thought out plan for getting them safely to their financial destination reserving the ability to make course adjustments along their route in consultation with a trusted financial advisor whose primary goal is to get them safely to their financial destination. Mm -hmm. Well, Chris, you know, thank you so much. You know, we're out of time, but I believe we're cleared for landing. <laughs> and Chris, we always appreciate the advice. And to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.